On October 1st, 2022, my iPod Touch 6th generation died. I was actually there with her when she died. I tried to revive her, but finally I had to pull the plug. She's been with me wherever I go, as a part of my Apple arsenal. I got my first iPod in kindergarten. It was my sister's. She had upgraded to the newest version and gave me this hand-me-down, and with it, I also got all of her angsty middle school playlists, which I have since updated over the years. Believe it or not, I am more advanced in my music listening techniques than the rest of my family. My sister and mom both have iPods, still with the wheel, and my other mom is still in the era of CDs. And now, I'm the first in my family to resort to buying a Spotify subscription until I can buy a new iPod. This must be the low life. I'd never been able to participate in the Spotify versus Apple Music debate because I was still running on iTunes. I know my way of life is not easily adopted by others, but this? This isn't it. I refuse to believe a machine knows me better in a day than I've known myself for 20 years. You see this? This is a curation of my music tastes that have evolved with me since I was five years old. It's a perfect cultivation of all the music suggested to me by friends and family. Songs I've heard at parties or in public. I don't know what to do leaving home now. It used to be phone, wallet, AirPods, iPod. Phone, wallet, AirPods, iPod. But now it's just phone, wallet, AirPods. There's something missing. I've experienced many threats to my way of life with news of Apple discontinuing iTunes to the death of iPod production. Finding a new one will be hard. And awkward. Shopping for iPods right in front of her? I guess I just hope that in a jealous rage she will just power herself on again, reveal that she was just playing dead the whole time. But after a week, I realize this is a lost cause. My iPod Touch is officially dead. Rest in peace to all of the other Apple products that have been made to die. And rest in peace to my iPod Touch, a relic of the time when electronics were made to last. But now that's gone, along with my 6,000 plus songs.